All right, guys, welcome back to Armor 3, and today we'll be tackling the mission Exit Strategy. And let me just say this ended up being quite an awesome experience, so let's just jump right in. So the situation is this. A high-ranking AF officer, codenamed Arrestus, has decided to defect and join our cause. And he wants to use his position of authority to help us take out one of two key locations while he still has the chance. So I'll be dropping in here with Dimitori and Iso, and after linking up with Arrestus, I'll decide whether I want to ambush a helicopter to the west or destroy a repair depot to the east. We've been advised that there will also be a couple supply stations set up close by, as well as two fire teams for us to link up with. Kappa, which consists of Chorus and Miladoni, and Sigma with Floros and Lara. After taking out one of the targets, we'll report back to Arrestus and return to base. We enter the map and make our way over to Arrestus, where he tells us he believes he may have been followed. So we need to take out the MRAP as it approaches. I take cover in a small building up the road and hit them as they drive up. Thankfully, this wasn't too big of an issue and we held them off with ease. I take this moment to equip Dimitore with a little more stopping power using the enemy's Zafir 7.62 and load him up with plenty of ammo, which I gotta admit took a lot more time than I thought it would, but we eventually got it all worked out and moved on. I also managed to grab a PCML from one of Arrestus' men along with a few rockets. With everyone ready, we loaded up into the newly acquired MRAP and set off towards the first supply stash. As we arrive and exit the vehicle, it appears there isn't actually a stash at this location, so we load back up into the MRAP and set a course for the first fire team. We arrive at their location and find Kappa Squad, where we link up with Chorus and Melodoni, which is nice to see a familiar face as Chorus and I have been together since the very beginning. With a decent sized five man team, I scope the map and plan our next move and decide I'd love to go ahead and link up with Sigma Squad as well before hitting one of these targets. And along the way, it looks like there's another supply stash we can check out. So with the plan set, we plot a course along the far west side to hopefully stay undetected along the long drive ahead. And although I planned on driving somewhat carefully, I eventually found myself flying off the side of a mountain into the trees, but we eventually made it to the supply stash and this one actually had some goodies. While the team pulls security, I find another PCML launcher and a bunch of backpacks. So I give this one to ISO and each of the guys one of the backpacks. With everyone set, we're pretty close to Sigma team now, so we drive up the way and finally spot them in the trees. Now with Floros and Lara, we're up to seven men strong and it's time to figure out a plan of action. So we set up an ORP and break out the map. At this point, we're in the middle of both objectives and after thinking it through, I decide that I'd like to hit the helicopter to the west. But it looks like there's some sort of enemy activity just west of us and I'd love to try and possibly take care of that before moving on to the OBJ. So we take it slow through the ravine, trying to conserve our energy for now and set up an ORP once we reach the wood line. From here, I I grab Melodonia and we go on a little leader's recon to try and get eyes on sight. As we approach the road, I can hear a vehicle passing by and it sounds pretty consistent as if it's on a routine patrol. So we wait it out a second and I move up to the road where I finally get eyes on the enemy. It looks to be an MRAP with a small group of about four or five guys. Now, to be honest, I could probably just avoid this entirely, but considering the situation, I really want to take out as many baddies as possible. So I head back to the ORP and decide on a course of action. So the plan is to use the terrain to get everyone as close as possible before engaging. From this turn here is a pretty steep drop in elevation. I want to get all of my guys in a sort of line following the bend of the road. Then I'll move back to the west side and on my signal we'll open up and engage while I launch a rocket into the MRAP. Now we do need to remember there's a patrol vehicle, but I should be able to hit it as it makes its usual stop along this turn here after the fighting. If everything goes as planned, we can then move through the kill zone and secure any valuable intel or equipment before moving out towards the objective. So we set off slowly through the forest moving as quietly as possible. As we approach the top of the hill, we start low crawling to minimize the chance of detection. I personally set each man in position along the road. With everyone set, I do a final once over before heading west into my position. With all the cards in place, it's time to give the order. On your feet. Light him up. After a glorious surprise attack, I turn my attention to the patrolling MRAP. With the patrolling MRAP destroyed and the ambush a success, the attack comes to an end. But the mission isn't over, and after regrouping with the team and checking to make sure everyone is good to go, we push through the kill zone and search the bodies for anything of value. After re-upping on ammo, I send Dimitri and Melodoni on the quad to scout ahead while the rest of us make our way back to the MRAP. Once we're all loaded up, we get word that our scouts found the perfect spot to set up an ORP and we make our way to their position. We finally find them hunkered down in the woods just south of the objective, so we set up the ORP and I grab Melodoni for another leader's recon to the 
top of the hill. As we top the hill, I get eyes on the objective and we see a bunch of windmills along with what appears to be one roaming patrol element. Thankfully, it only looks to be about four guys and we have a huge advantage being on this hill with a clear line of sight, so obviously I'm going to utilize it. With a clear plan, I leave Melodonia and make my way back to the ORP where I grab the rest of the guys and bring them up the hill. As we top the hill, I low crawl each guy into position, placing both MGs on the top ridge with Melodonia as to give them the widest range of sight. I figure I will put Chorus, Floris, and Iso down below in the tree line, which should give us a nice spread once the bullets start flying. After crawling everyone into position, I check everything one last time before calling it a go. As the enemy starts walking into our kill zone, I begin giving out targets, and pretty soon all hell breaks loose. Eyes on target. Lock and load. Fire at will! And just like that, the ambush was over. Sadly, there's still a lot of work to do, and our next step is to clear this objective on the ground. So after a quick status check on all the guys, we get everyone online and start bounding up towards the objective. I move with Alpha Team, while Bravo provides overwatch at the base of the road. Once we clear the east side of the objective, we converge on the kill zone with Bravo moving in on our left. With the objective cleared, the guys pull security while I call Arrestus on the radio. He tells us he's about to call the Hilo in on our location. So I throw a smoke for the landing, and soon enough, I see the bird approaching from the west. I take cover in a small shed and wait for it to touch down before blasting it away. With the Hilo destroyed, our mission is complete, but I can't quite shake the feeling that we're not done here yet. Although we chose this objective instead of hitting the repair depot, after assessing the situation on the side, we're going to move on to that repair depot regardless and finish what we started. So after checking our ammo and telling the guys, we start moving out. I noticed earlier there was an extra MRAP here, so I send Alpha Team towards our old MRAP while Bravo and I hop in the new one. We meet Alpha down the road and set a course towards the depot. We park at a small hamlet and move on foot into the trees to set up a new ORP, and I once again grab Melodoni for a little re movement. We spot another patrolling MRAP while making our way to high ground. We follow the road to the east where we spot the MRAP stationary on the road. I decide it may be best to go ahead and hit it now before engaging the depot. So I make my way as close as possible and send a rocket downrange. With the MRAP destroyed, I make my way back to Melodonia and we get back to the guys. We start moving up in formation towards the depot until we have eyes on, where I set everyone up behind cover and scope the objective. We don't see any hostiles, so we start moving towards the rock wall about 200 meters up. With everyone online and ready, we wait a couple minutes before I take Bravo team along the left flank while Alpha stays on overwatch. As we get into position, it's time to start the assault. Team Red, move 75 meters front. Welcome! Soldier, 200 meters, front! Soldier, 100 meters, front! And with the fighting coming to an end, it would appear the repair depot is finally secure. Now, since we're kind of doing this on our own accord, we can't use Arrestus' help for destroying these vehicles. So we search around and find a handful of explosives we can use. So we wire everything up and step back before detonating the charge. With the repair depot destroyed, the successful helicopter ambush, and taking out the midway patrol, it would seem the only thing left to do is return back to arrest us for a debrief. So we load up into the MRAPs and make our way back to base. With the mission complete, it's time for a recap, and I'd say we accomplished our goals with perfection. 
After setting off, we stopped the initial MRAP squad that was tailing Arrestus, then loaded up and made our way to Kappa squad where we linked up with Chorus and Melodoni. We decided to go ahead and make our way towards Sigma and stop at the supply stash on the way. We then made a plan to assault the MRAP midway patrol by crawling in position and initiating a bloody ambush, while I launched a rocket into the MRAP, followed by another into the patrolling MRAP on its way back through. We then secured the kill zone and sent a scout team to recon the next objective. After meeting back with the recon element, we set up an ORP and Melodoni Tony and I made our way up the hill. After surveying the situation, we decided to set the MGs on the hill and a few guys down below. With everyone ready, we opened fire, making quick work of the opposition. After securing the objective, we called in the Hilo and set up an ambush. And although the mission was complete, we decided to go ahead and hit the repair depot as well. So after destroying the last AMRAP, we got online and moved up to the depot. I took Bravo team around the left flank while Alpha proceeded up the middle. We hit them hard and fast and managed to kill all opposition. We then found a handful of explosives and destroyed the depot. But of course, the great the greatest part of all is the fact all my guys made it out alive. So with all of this coming to an end, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one.